A lot of McGill students downtown, one, have never heard of Mac, two, just know that some food comes from there. So I think maybe that gives a preconception that it's only a farm when it's not. It's also this international population um, studying so many different things that are just as rigorous as downtown courses are, but a smaller campus community. There's five degrees offered at Mac, bioresource engineering, nutritional science, food science, animal sciences, and then in the, the degree of agriculture and environmental science, there's life sciences, environmental biology, agro-environmental sciences, um, global food security. People at Mac are really um, working to impact humanity with food, nutrition, health, or the environment. And of course we have the McDonald campus farm um, on campus and it's great for students ranging from animal science to plant science for hands-on learning experiences um, and a lot of our food our, our eggs and vegetables from mac go to the downtown cafeterias if you're eating an apple downtown it's probably from mac because we have apple orchards there's also the food lab then of course we have the horticulture research center and this is our orchards our vegetable research plots um, cold rooms we also have hydroponics. We have the Morgan Arboretum, which is 245 hectare forest reserve that has trails in it where you can go on your own with friends, hiking or snowshoeing or cross country skiing in the winter. Of course, we have greenhouses that students can um, have classes in, labs in, do work in. I don't think a lot of downtown students have been to Mac campus, um, which they absolutely can. A lot of downtown students can take electives um, at Mac. There are smaller courses. Um, you have a voice. It's you can still have a voice downtown, absolutely. But it's it's easier to stand out and make a connection with profs at Mac because there's only 1,400 undergraduate students and then 600 grad. Mac really feels like this tight knit community for the downtown students that have never been to Mac. All you have to do is get on the shuttle, which I know you've seen. It's the big bus outside of McGill. So if you just want to explore, like absolutely do that. It's really beautiful and you should, during your time at McGill, definitely come to Mac.